Hi, I'm This Side of Oblivion, and today I'm doing a track walkthrough of my remix of Into the Green by D That, featuring Chi Chi. I have no idea how to pronounce that. I'm assuming Endai, maybe? Alright, so this project was made for Remix Wall 9, and Remix Wall 9, due to some bad organization, turned into an absolute mess, so I ended up uploading this by itself. Now before we get too deep into it, I'd just like to say thank you so much to everybody for all the support you've shown the this remix. At the time of recording, this had just over a thousand views and 60-something likes, which is absolutely amazing. Um, when I first made this song, I expected to get maybe like a hundred views at most, if that. So thank you so much for all the support. Alright, anyway, on to the video. Um, the main reason I chose to remix it is when Remix War 9 was announced. Um, yeah, when Remix War 9 was announced, I just was like, okay, I'm going to do something for this. I'm going to be part of something. Actually, try and get my name out there a bit. And I decided that I wanted to remix something with a lot of vocal stems. Like, have some fun messing around with them. So, I ended up picking Into the Green because the sheer amount of vocal stems it had. So basically, that's where this whole project started, just with the vocal stems. Which, even just by themselves, let's see vocal out, just turn all the effects off on all the vocals, which even without everything else still carry most of the melody and everything for the track. So yeah, basically, that's where this whole thing started, just with a vocal. Next thing I did was I did all the drums. Specifically, these drums here for the first chorus. This was the first section I built, and then I worked outwards from there. So starting at the top, we'll just work down through the project, talking about each element and how it's made. So at first, the drums start off with this pattern. This is the kick, a whole bunch of hats and stuff. And then as it comes into the second half, snare and more elements come in. Now these are a whatchamacallit, a kick and a snare and layered with an acoustic kit. I just find it adds like that punch which makes it sound a bit, I don't know, more full I guess. Alright, next thing. Pluck bass. It's just a plucky bass. Uh, next is the uh, main bass saw lead thingy, which sort of just sits under everything else and just, yeah, supports everything. Then there is the piano, which plays the progression, and a bass, the bass note. There's also the cellos, which pay bass. Basically a big pad, really. Alright, oh, the piano also in the second half of the chorus also plays this, um, I guess, arpeggio, I guess. That 
that was originally all through here, just all the way through, but I found it cluttered a bit with everything. Next is the first Vins. Yeah, which sort of just play the progression and then the one of the melodies. Then there's the second Vins. Which play this uh, same arpeggio which the piano plays. Then there's the little toy box music magical music box thing. Yeah, it's just a nice high-end support. It, yeah, I just love that instrument. It's in pretty much everything. Uh, next, bass. Just playing bass line, progression again. Um, then, whoop. So that's basically all the elements. So, from the start, first comes in the piano. And then music box and the music box playing both the progression. Then we have a real quiet impact, which leads us into the main intro. So we have the whatchamacallit? Bass playing the verse progression. Piano playing the the uh, verse progression, bass line, and the arpeggio. And we also have harmony, which is done with the music box. Then that leads up into the, oh yeah, the start of the verse. Then we have the first drums, which are just, uh, what do we call it? Both cymbals, and then just pats. Then we get into a sort of break risey section. So we have a crash again. And then this impact. Then we sort of just cut away the bass, simplify everything. relatively simple then the second half we get more stuff coming in so we have the uh, as I said earlier we have the uh, the snare and some more hats and stuff come in here we play an extra octave we play three octaves on the bass or lead thing then this also comes in then it um, breaks down we knock the drums out but we keep everything else going second verse which there isn't one so the original had some vocal chopping now that didn't come in the stems so I sort of just was like I like that element so I decided to keep it in so I 
sampled the first verse, I believe. Nope, it's chorus apparently. What do I know? So, um, yeah, I sampled that and then chopped it up. And now, play it. Whoops! Well, that's not great. So, just reload that. That was a mistake. Oh well. Didn't save it. Alright, so this was just literally, I just clicked around until I made, whatchamacallit, this little bit at the start here. And then I just made the second half and duplicated it four times. And I just messed up the uh, second half of it a little bit different each time. Then we just sort of have the progression playing, the simplified harmony and bass line with uh, that hat, simple crash hat pattern thing from the start again. Then the cello and the first fins come back in playing a octave. And then this slightly more complex version of the vocal chopping plays, where it's basically the same as the first part, but it's got this stuff at the top here, which just adds a little more. And then that leads us into the bridge. So, uh, a break. Uh, then we play the verse, verse bass line again, the plucky bass, uh, verse piano without the bass line. We play the harmony again, and then the bass just keeps playing as normal. And then we've got these long sections. Yeah, so yeah, first half's relatively simple, then this crash gets a little more complex, adds some more stuff in. Then that builds back up into the second chorus, same as the first. And then that leads us to the outro. So, the outro, we have the vocal chopping. The simple vocal chopping. We've got the piano, we've got the, uh, whatchamacallit? I believe that's the chorus progression playing there. Yep, that's the chorus progression playing. Um, and then the music box, and then just the final chords. Yeah, and then this is just, well, these little vocal things I cut from just here and paste it again right at the end, just to emphasize it a bit. Um... So sound design, talk about the electronic, com all the components of it. So the vocals, the, I'll just loop the, I'll loop this section for it. Whoops, this one, all right. So the main vocals got panned left and right. Then the vo 
course add added a ton of uh, delay and did reverb on it. This first section here. Butterflies soar through the air. It's a, it's a place where you'll find no despair. Fall into the green. See the earth, it's full with love. Free yourself. Then there's the high vocals for the main part. Whoops. Need to unmute them. Which once again have been panned over further, left and right. Yeah, so they've been fanned further over left and right. And they have a guitar rig in it, which just makes it super airy. Then there's all the high support vocals, so like these bits here, which was this one's panned left, that one's center, that one's panned right, and these ones just have an absolute shit ton of reverb. On. So minimize, whoops. Minimize all that. Um, next. Just, where are they? Yeah. So kick and snare just came with FL. No, they from the 99 sounds. Um, no, nine drum samples pack. Free pack, it's good to get if you just want some really good sounding kicks. A little editing, they sound amazing. Uh, snares also from that. Then there's this uh, acoustic drum kit, which... Once again, it's free. Well, it was free when I got it. It was part of a giveaway. Um, I highly recommend getting this. It's really nice. If it's still available for free, I recommend it. Get some really nice sounding drums. Do a bit of work and get them sounding real good. And if you're using anything but FL, you can get all these. Little pre made drum loops. Oops. Oh, great. Now I've got that. Yeah, there we go. Shut up. Alright, um, yeah, for some reason you can't use them in FL. Uh, still a good drum kit. Uh, right. Alright, then there's the plucky bass, which is a hammer. Uh, it's nothing really special. It's just, yeah, delay, fairly little distorted. So... Looks like I made a super sword and just applied a ton of pluck. And then a res resonance filter. Low past it. Yeah. Made that months and months and months ago, and I've sort of just been using it in all my tracks, just EQing it slightly different each time. <laughs> uh, you make something you like, just use it all the time. Then there's this bassy saw thing. <laughs> Which is essentially made using the same process as the bass, just with slightly less unison. With a bit more distortion, I think. And then just automating the volume on 
slowly. In time with the tempo. <laughs> Uh, then there's all this orchestral stuff, which is all done with good old squid font, which is a free sound font file, which just comes with a whole bunch of stuff. The sounds themselves aren't that amazing, but it's amazingly good for something you can get for free. I highly recommend it. So with like a bit of EQ, you can get everything sounding nice. So a lot of this stuff doesn't sound amazing without effects on it. But uh, yeah, with a little bit of work, you can get them sounding real nice. <laughs> Actually, this VIN, if I remember correctly, sounded terrible before I put stuff on it. Yeah, it sounds so much sharper now. Um, yeah, and then pretty much it's all mixed. All the vocals have just been slightly panned, everything which came in pairs. Um, then everything, all the vocals get routed into the vocal out where they get compress slightly, or I take a bit off the high ends, boost the mids, because if you didn't take off the high ends, it just sounds really loud and doesn't blend well with everything else. Um, yeah, vocal chops just go straight to the master because they get processed slightly different. Um, all the kicks and everything just go straight to the master. Whoops. Um, now, all of these are panned to where they would actually sit like all the orchestral stuff is panned to where they would sit in an actual orchestra. Uh, synth stuff stays center, and then all the impacts are just pushed right. The Im impact, the Leviathan impact and rise are just turned all the way down. So, uh, hear them, but you don't really see them. Alright, that's about it. Um, now I'll just play through the whole song so you can see how it all works, and, uh... So I'll see you next time. If you like the video, uh, leave a like, subscribe, put a comment in, and uh, thanks for watching.